going to do is set up a color workspace. Simply click on the window option in the top left menu, go down to workspaces and then choose color and effects. You can customize your workspace to however you like. For me personally, I like to have two grids up, one showing the vector scope and the other showing the waveform. Let's first start off by adjusting the Luma channel. Simply click on this icon and then select Luma. Bring up the color inspector, click on no corrections to drop down the menu and then select add color curves. Feel free to change the viewing option to however you like. Starting with the Luma, bring down the highlights by dragging this control point down to right around 75 to 80 ish range. Boost the shadows as well as the midtones just a tad bit. Now let's do some auto color balancing. Click on the clip, press Option, Command, and then B. Back to the color workspace. Click on this icon to drop down the menu, and then select the channels to RGB overlay. Back to the color inspector. Moving on to the red tab, slightly boost the mid-tones and the curve up using the vector scope as well as the RGB overlay as our guide. Same as previous, just give the mid-tones a touch of a boost. Once that's done, let's also introduce some magenta into the shadows by pulling the screen control point down to make a mini S curve. Now onto the blue curve, decrease the highlights just by a little. A touch of a boost in the shadows, and then decrease this other shadow point for some yellow, green and cyan. Now I usually do my saturation adjustments as well as any other final touch up in the color wheels tool. To add the color wheels, simply click on no corrections and then choose add color wheels. Let's start off by adding some cyan color into the highlights. Simply pull this knob down towards the color. Decrease the saturation by pulling this arrow down using the vector scope as our guide. The further it is from the outer ring, the less saturated it becomes. Moving on, let's add some red and orange to the mid-tones by pulling this knob towards it. And then increase its overall saturation by pulling this arrow up. On to the shadows, let's add some yellow to it. Decrease its saturation just by a little. This is completely optional, but if you prefer to have one or more color pop out from the rest, simply click here to drop down the menu and then add hue slash saturation curves. Select this eyedropper in the hue versus saturation and then select the area of color you wish to make it stand out. Back to hue versus saturation, drag this middle control point up to saturate the color. All right, now that we're all done with the colors, let's move on to the effects. In the effects browser search bar, type in add noise. Double click on that. Bring out the video inspector. Under add noise, select the blend mode option to soft light. It's typed to Gaussian noise film grain and then the amount to 0.1. Back to the search bar, type in sharpen and then double click on it. In the sharpen tool, set the amount to 5. Moving on, let's add some blur to it. In the effects browser, search for Gaussian and then double click on it. In the Gaussian tool, set the amount to right around 2.5. If you'd like to add some RGB into your clip, simply find and use the PRISM tool. Set the amount to right around 4 to 5. Here's before. And here's the after for now. Here's a tip, you could also add some shakiness to the clip so that it looks a little more realistic. For that, I recommend you use Earthquake tool and then change this amount to around 1.25. Undo the layers, and then increase the value all the way to its max. Great! Now for text and titles, I'm using the font called VCR OSD Mono. I'll include this free font to download down below, so definitely check that out. Another tip, to make your text blend a little better to the clip, simply decrease its opacity, increase its blur, and change its color to a more grayish tone instead of just plain white. You can also add some black outline to the text by ticking this box. Change the outline color to black. Decrease its opacity. Increase the blur as well as the width. To go one step further, you can add the exact same effects and settings you applied earlier to the clip, but this time onto the text. To finish this long tutorial all off, go ahead and apply the VHS tracking overlays. Once again, it's free and the link will be included down below. Just drag and drop the overlay to here, choose and adjust it to however you like. With the overlay already selected, head over to the inspector. Under compositing, set the blend mode to screen. One last tip here, 
To copy and paste the entire color effects and settings onto the new clip, simply select the clip, press Option Command C, move on to the other clip, and then press Option Command V. And we're finally done! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this tutorial somewhat useful, if at all. And if you did, please give it a like and also subscribe for more unusual Final Cut Pro tutorial like this one. Wish you the best with your project and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.